If you have any questions or we've missed some information that you really want to know, just drop a comment below and we'll either answer you or who knows, we might just make a whole video just for you. Maymont is the spot that every Richmond and anyone that comes to visit must check out. Um, so many memories associated with there. Um, I could pull out my album right now with all of our kids and think about them running up and down the hills over by the petting zoo, um, feeding the goats, crying because the goats are getting too close or eating everything that was in their hands or the ostriches or emus uh, being kind of scary. And they are kind of scary. Um, beautiful um, places that really uh, talk about the preservation of animals. And Maymont um, has a beautiful home on it and these beautiful gardens all the way around. I cannot think of exactly who owned that house, but I know um, they did donate the property to the city to be enjoyed by all. Um, at the holidays, they light up all of the different gardens and they have multiple gardens um, for everyone to enjoy now. And then always field trips inside the beautiful house. Um, all the different people picnicking along the lawn at any time of the year, but particularly the spring and fall and summer for sure. Maymont is a spot that you cannot miss, and I love it now that they're doing a lot of uh, sunset free yoga classes for people as well. If you are a history buff, or even if you just like to enjoy a time out on the rocks and the James River, you have got to go check out Belle Isle. Um, parking for Belle Isle can always be a little tricky, so plan ahead a little bit, um, but you're going to enjoy being able to walk right across the river on a suspended bridge and going over and being able to walk around on this beautiful island that centers all around our great James River. Lots of history to read about, some you know harder, tougher times in the history of our United States and for Virginia, but a great place to check out no matter what time of year it is you must go by Belle Isle for sure. Browns Island, if you're looking to catch one of the summer concerts at the amphitheater, if you are a big fan of the River Rock Festival that they do every year and uh, several other uh, folk festivals, um, you must go over to Browns Island. Actually really easy to find parking around several different spots and you kind of, everyone descends down on it and you get to walk across onto the island um, lots of places where you can pop in with your paddleboard or kayak um, and then lots of spots for everyone actually lots of spots also in the shade for the really hot uh, days if you're watching any of the people that are doing different demonstrations uh, like I said the River Rock is a really fun festival that they do every single year bring your puppy dogs and they can compete for who can jump the furthest every kind of awful food for you you can find testing the paddle boards out there brought by some of the local uh, organizations and also lots of great vendors out there with all sorts of fun stuff. Fun for everyone, local or even people just visiting, you've got to check out Browns Island. Shiplock Park is one that we visit on a regular basis when we go and rent our electric bikes over at Cool Wheels and bring them down the Capitol Trail into the city. And the neat thing about it is they are true locks. Um, if anyone has lived here for a long amount of time, you know there have been several different hurricanes that have come through and have really done a number on Shaco Bottom. Well, it is the locks at locks, uh, Shiplock Park that protect the city from not getting flooded all the time. And I believe they did put those in place after that one particular hurricane that really put Shaco Bottom in a horrible spot. I think it's really cool that you're riding down and you literally are going through these um, big concrete walls. You have to kind of like walk your bike through. You step over into the other side. Lots of places for people to picnic. Of course, everyone's riding bikes, walking their dogs, uh, walking their babies, chit-chatting, enjoying the nice weather, um, and lots of parking, which is awesome. And you are literally right down in the city in a little spot that a lot of people don't even know about. Rockets Landing is a must for anyone that is looking to have a fun evening or brunch right on the river. Um, great views, several different restaurants. The Boathouse is one that I can think of right off the bat, uh, which has great um, seafood and great other um, plates. Wonderful spot if you want to host a special event, a baby shower, a bridal shower, any of those things with amazing views. The nice thing about um, 
Rockets Landing as well is uh, not only do you have restaurants, but you do have a couple markets and you do have access to, if you join one of the clubs where you rent out different boats, that's one of the spots that you can get in right there. Rockets Landing, a fun place, it technically is Henrico County and just at the cusp of the um, Capitol Bike Trail. So it's really become a big spot for all the bikers to hang out. Once again, if this is your first time to our channel and you want to learn everything there is to know about living in Richmond, Virginia, tap that like button, hit subscribe, and click that little bell so you're notified every time we release a new video. Thanks so much for watching and always remember, leave everything better.